everyone, this is Nicole, a writer from Sesame.com and today we're going to try Penang Homemade Beef Ball at Beauty World Centre. So Beauty World Centre is actually a pretty old mall but it's of course part of its charm and it's a little rainy today so I can't wait to dig into some beef balls. Okay, so now we're at Beauty World Food Centre and we're going to try Penang Homemade Beef Ball and over here we have three of their dishes. We have the beef ball noodle soup, um, the beef brisket and we have the beef hot fun all at $5. So usually brisket is quite a uh, tough meat, it's from the chest area so there's a lot of like muscle there so um, long hours needed to cook it down so I'm just gonna, I hope it's soft. Um, it's actually pretty tender. Mm. It's not as soft as I would like it, but it's still very flavorful. It looks like it's been braised for like quite a while. So yeah, I think um, I'll give it a pass and you know you get a lot, a very generous uh, chunks of beef brisket here. So now I'm going to try the tendon which is also like a connective muscle that requires like long hours of cooking. So we have, they're pretty generous. You have like quite a big piece here. Mm. It's pretty soft. Pretty nice, um, you know it has that gelatinous um, feel that you know tendon usually has. The broth is a little bit lighter than what uh, you would normally get at, like if you're eating Taiwanese beef noodles or even the Thai beef noodles. But um, but it's, it's light enough that you can eat it every day, it's not too salty, it's perfectly balanced and you still get that sort of richness that coats your tongue when you have a soup. So I guess it's, it's just a little, it's like a different style from what we're used to. So I'm gonna try the kway teow now and some soup. It's pretty slippery. Yeah, I would say like in terms of beef noodle soup, it completely uh, meets the mark. And now for the beef balls. So um, they're known as Penang uh, homemade beef ball. So I hope I hope it's good. So the beef ball is. Um, it's pretty smooth, uh, it's really bouncy and you can tell that it's definitely homemade because they're all slightly a little bit uneven in texture. But yeah, like I would say like for a stall that does almost everything with a cow, this is pretty good. For the beef hor fun, like uh, you know it's, it's a quite a nice plate of quite messy as usual and then we have like a lot of beef slices with hor fun. So like usually in Hor Fun, what you want to look out for is that wok hay and this one has it. So there's that charred, smoky taste. And then for the beef, the beef slices are a little bit thicker than what you can find um, in the beef noodle soup. And sometimes in the beef ball soup, um, the owner will ask you if you want any shabu slices as well. So you should definitely get the shabu slices. So actually, Beauty World Food Centre is a pretty special uh, hawker centre-ish. It's the only hawker centre that's on top of a mall and it's open air and it's actually not owned by the government. And there's actually plenty of other stalls besides this that are really yummy. So every time after I go to Bukit Tima um, for a hike or anything, I will just you know eat all the calories that I burn right here. So yeah, it's very useful and if you're here on Sunday or Saturday, you will see everybody is thinking the same thing. So um, the store owner is actually from Penang himself and his family actually owns a really famous beef steamboat restaurant um, in Penang. So if you're missing Penang food, like I'm sure we all are because we can't go there. If you're not looking for something too heavy or um, you know, this, this would be a pretty good option on a rainy day like today. So now we're done with Penang homemade beef ball and it is pretty good. I like the way they prepared the beef and how the brisket was cooked and the beef ball of course was really good. Um, it's a little light from what I'm used to or I like but you know if after a long day you need something um, that's clean and easy and satisfying this would be good. So that's it for now so we'll see you again next time. Bye!